In this demo, we are recreating Radiohead riffs as a vehicle to showcase this awesome box. Ghost from Endorphin.es in collaboration with Andrew Huang. Basically, this is a multi-effects pedal, but that is a huge oversimplification. It's a modular sonic palette filled with delays, reverbs, distortion, a bit crusher. But check this out. It really starts cooking with the three mode filter, the six shape LFO modulator, and the six routing options. Now there are lots of other cool features as well. I'll try and explain those as best I can as we go through the demo. And check this out. I've got a 10% off discount if you purchase this through the endorphin.es website, which is nice, isn't it? So let's dive in. So my clean tone. Very dry indeed. Hit bypass to turn on the effects. We're in first preset here. So you're already having fun. There's obviously these are presets. Um, these are factory presets. Let's try a different one. So we just hit the preset button a few times. Let's go to preset eight. loveliness abounds right let's start from the basics right so if you hit all four of these buttons press and hold them until that lights up you now have a blank canvas as you can hear okay so let's start with some distortion You'll notice that the labels on the knobs all show the secondary functions, right? You access those by just pressing shift, okay? So if I want to get to the cabinet, which is going to be uh, linked to the distortion, right? That's cool for a bit of airbag. Lots of fun, turn the distortion back down. And let's have a look at adding a delay for the second part of that, right? So this is the delay section here. You've got delay, repeats and time. You also have secondary functions, tone, taps and MIDI clock. So first of all, we look at the mix knob basically for the delay. Obviously further around anti-clockwise you get the quicker it gets. I mean, that's almost like a super quick slap back. So we'll leave it in the middle and then repeats. So that gives us a nice digital delay. Pretty sweet. The same thing we can do now if we just add a bit of reverb. Again, this is a mix knob for the amount of reverb. And we're on the hall reverb, right, okay? If it goes past 12 o'clock, it goes into shimmer on this setting. If I want to change the reverb settings to reverse, I just hit this button and then spring and then back to hall. I quite like the, the hall. Now note under here it says taps next to repeats, okay? Now if I hit the shift key, that will affect that, okay? And there's three different tap functions, got like a ping pong, which I think exists between 0 and 11 o'clock. So if I just turn it there. And you really need headphones on for this because I'm using a stereo uh, rig, I'm using two amps. So the left hand side is going to my Morgan and the right hand side is going to my Victory. So you should hear that ping-ponging backwards and forwards. Then if I pop it up about there. Note how the delay changes. That's now going left, right, right, left. And then if we go further again. So the last third is a stereo. which effectively is halving the delay time, right? 
So they all sound good. I quite like that one there. And if I hit shift then I come out of that menu. So that now will be the amount of repeats. Pretty cool, isn't it? And if I turn it right the way up, you've got this infinity symbol. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Now, given that that started to sound a little bit like Ed O'Brien, we can do some cool Ed O'Brien stuff. Now, the tap foot switch can have its own assignment as well. And you can save that assignment in, in your presets too. So the first mode, which is the default, is tap tempo. And that's going to override the, the time knob, OK? Um, now, once you've set something with a tap tempo, if you do twist the time knob, that will take precedent, OK? So you can alter between the two. But if we hold shift and tap, watch the light above it. Notice that that flashed twice. So that is now in the second mode. So no difference there, right? Turn that down a bit. So there's no difference there, right? Okay, but if I turn it on. We've got a looper mode, right? But if we set that running. Then we can twiddle the time knob. <laughs> and you can do some Ed O'Brien stuff. Let's add a bit of bit crusher to this. Now that's the volume. But see, it says crush for the secondary function. So if you hit the shift key, and that'll be the amount of bit crush. Try that. Now, in the intro, you heard me playing Dex Dark, right? And what I did was I basically replaced uh, the uh, keyboard parts, and there's a piano with some weird delay and that sort of stuff. And I played it all uh, using three presets from this that I created, okay? So we're gonna start off with the first part. So let's add some reverb first. A little bit of distortion. I think I'm going to change the cab too. So that's the settings that I used for the bass part, which is going something like this. Now for the piano melody part, um, I'm going to turn the reverb down and the decay down. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use reverse reverb because I think it sounds cool. A little bit of delay. That sounds like this. I want to add some shimmer to it. And that is one of the features of this tap assign, right? Now I showed you mode two before. We should, because I cleared it, that should be back to mode one. So if I hit shift and that, two flashes, shift and that again, three flashes. Now, and this is a feature of reverse mode, it actually adds shimmer to the reverse. So we should get that when we enable this switch. Okay, so again, that's it. without the tap on, hear that little extra octave. Now, I actually saved the preset. I think it was three that I used. I just used delay and uh, the reverse reverb. But again, I want to show you the spring reverb because later on in the song, there's some spring reverb action. And this is great for it. So we go spring, and then if we notch up the reverb, and the decay, and a 
again, I want some distortion for this part too. <laughs> so you've got a really cool effect. So that's a little bit of the delay and the reverb, right? I want to start again. So I haven't yet got into the filter stuff and the modulation. Let's have a look at that. Now the way that the modulation has been set up in this is really clever. You press the modulation button and that means you can apply modulation to any of these parameters apart from these two, I think, but any of the other ones. So you want to add it to reverb, delay, uh, bit crusher or distortion. So you can get quite carried away with it right but i'll try and do a basic setting so let's start with these settings okay so we've got uh what's that gonna sound like so super quick delay time right and then if we go for i don't know some random shape right So what I did there was because the modulation button is pressed and I've moved the uh, time up, I'm effectively, you can see that the light has changed color as well here. See, like if I ramp it up, notice it gets more and more blue. That just means I'm adding loads more modulation to this particular parameter. <laughs> <laughs> which is great and you can see the speed here so if I turn that so you instantly get into crazy territory now if I pull it back notice it goes red which I think has like a subtractive effect. So if I go to random, right? That's almost chorusy now, isn't it? And these two here, like they're random waveforms. So that's very cool. What about some creep? I think creep is a bit more tremolo -y, right? That's more like it, isn't it? Right, let's try another one. Let's return these to basic mode and then distortion gonna do a bit of the cabinet a bit of delay now let's check out the filter knob right quite like that for body snatches lovely slap back all I've done is just reduce the time there right so you can kind of combine both guitar parts what about a bit of bit crusher for Paranoid Android. That's great fun. It is a cool solo tone too. Oh, 
that's cool. <laughs> It's quite roboty. If we change the resonance of that filter, it's crazy, isn't it? Now, because we're in shift mode, if I press this button again, I'm going to go to the secondary filter. comb filter I mean you can already see how many endless combinations of this stuff that you can have now let's reset that again and I want to have a look at the envelope follower okay which is that setting here it's that shape so we've got this so far clean so if we go modulation and then add that to the filter change the resonance now if I move the filter again <laughs> you know, at certain points you won't hear much different but there you do so you get a kind of wah tone don't you but if we add some distortion and then if we add a little bit of bit crusher as well just a touch and then I want a bit of hall reverb now this is cool for the chorus line for lucky right And what if we just go crazy with the distortion? These effects are grouped together in sort of buckets, right? So you've got distortion, filter, which is all the modulation stuff, and then FX, uh, which is basically the delays and the reverb. So you can change the routing order of these. So imagine if these are all individual pedals and you want your distortion first, then your filter and then your um, delays and reverbs at the end, or you can switch them about at the touch of a button. Okay, so uh, mileage will vary depending on how much you've got going on, right? But for example, let's try this one. Same's the same really. Try this one. That's definitely making a difference. <laughs> because you've got the uh, the reverb and the delay happening before the distortion. Let's get a bit crazy with it. See, the delay pops out there much more, doesn't it? And you can get into a bit of Star Wars, can't you? So let's do one more example. We're going to do my and lung, and I've played that into a looper. So we'll start with the looper. And then I'm going to use the BP filter. Pretty cool. I also want to use reverse, oops, reverse uh, reverb. That's cool. Uh, I'll try and add the shimmer to that if I can. I think it was the third mode. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Sounds a bit mad, doesn't it? Let's try a bit, little bit of distortion. Pretty cool, right? 
So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've only scratched the surface. There are tons of other features, expression pedal that you can assign to any of the parameters so you can create your own effects from scratch. Incredibly powerful unit and loads of fun once you get to grips with the controls, which I still am, frankly. I'm still finding new stuff in it. Cheers.